Before we begin, let me ask you something, where are you watching this video from right now? Comment your city below, and tell me this too, do you eat bread every single day? Because today you re about to discover something that may completely change the way you look at wheat, something almost nobody knows, yet it's silently affecting millions of people in the United States, in Brazil, and across the world. Get ready, because what you're about to hear may shock you at first, but once everything starts to make sense, you will never look at bread the same way again. Picture this, you wake up in the morning, smell that warm, soft, innocent bread that is part of everyday life for practically every American, whether it's white bread bagels, croissants, muffins, or the famous sandwich bread. Now imagine that this same bread, this everyday food, is triggering in your body a destructive, silent, cumulative response. One that starts in the gut, but slowly affects your entire body. And no, this isn't just about gluten. This is bigger, much bigger, and it has everything to do with modern wheat, which is nothing like the wheat our grandparents ate. Wheat has changed, and it has changed for the worse. But before we dive into the science, let me ask you something else. Have you ever felt bloated after eating bread? Tired, foggy-minded, that mild but persistent discomfort that seems to come out of nowhere. If you've ever felt any of this, maybe your body has been trying to warn you for a long time, and what I am about to tell you might be the exact explanation you've been waiting for. To understand what's happening, we need to go back a few decades. In the past, wheat was a completely different food. It had less gluten, fewer anti-nutrients, fewer inflammatory substances, and was grown in a much more natural way. But starting in the 1960s, a process called intensive hybridization began, a type of accelerated crossbreeding designed to produce wheat that was more resistant, cheaper, more productive, faster growing, and more profitable. The industry loved it. Farmers loved it, but the human body, not so much. This new wheat, known as dwarf wheat, contains much higher levels of a protein called asterisk, asterisk, gliadin, asterisk, skeletin, a molecule that binds to receptors in the gut and stimulates the release of a substance called asterisk, asterisk, zonulin, asterisk, zonulin, asterisk, and this is where things get serious. Zonulin opens the tight junctions of the intestinal wall, creating tiny gaps, small openings that allow particles to slip into the bloodstream that should never enter. This condition is known as asterisk, asterisk, leaky gut, asterisk, asterisk, and for many people, this is the beginning of years of silent suffering. 